जय हिंद टू ऑल माई नेम इज दिव्या शर्मा एंड माई टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इज ऑन एंटीना बेसिक्स एंड इट्स पैरामीटर रेडिएशन पैटर्न नाउ फर्स्ट रेडियो एंटीना वॉज बिल्ड बाई हैनरिच हर्ट्स a professor at technical institute in karls uh, germany in 1986 he assembled apparatus means radio of radio system where there is operating at meet, uh, meter wavelengths with an end loaded dipole as a transmitting antenna and a resonant uh, square loop antenna as a receiver and it is also experimented with a parabolic reflector now first what do you mean by antenna antenna is an electronic device which convert electric currents into radio waves and vice versa it is usually used with a radio transmitter or radio receiver in transmission a radio transmitter applies at oscillating uh, radio frequency electric current to the antenna's terminals and the antenna radiates energy from the current as an electromagnetic waves now transmitting antenna so this is this is the part means this is the component of this uh, apparatus any any structure designed uh, to efficiently radiate electromagnetic radiation in a preferred direction is known as transmitting antenna and in reception antenna intercepts some of the power of the electromagnetic wave in order to produce a tiny voltage at the terminal that is applied to the receiver and what do you mean by receiving antenna so vice versa of the transmitting means any structure designed to efficiently receive electromagnetic radiation that is known as receiving antenna so why these antennas are required so these antennas are required by any radio uh, radio receiver or transmitter to couple its electrical connection to the electromagnetic field so what do you mean by antenna it is meta uh, metallic conductor system capable of radiating and receiving electromagnetic waves so in other words you can say antenna is a transitional structure between free space and a guiding guiding device now this is the structure of antenna here there is a source this is the transmission line from here to here this is the transmission line this is the antenna from here to here this is antenna and this is the part of radiated free space wave so this is the uh, this is the structure of antenna or you can say transmission device transition device now uh, what are the basics of antenna whenever voltage is applied to the antenna an electric field is set up and at the same time voltage causes co current to flow to the antenna producing a magnetic field now electric and magnetic field are right angle to each other let it be this is your electric field so this is your magnetic field so these two electric and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other now antenna may be uh, omnidirectional antenna or directional antenna or it may be isotropic antenna but practically isotropic antenna is not uh, used now this is the whole setup of antenna this is the transmission antenna this is the receiving antenna now this is the transmission antenna what are the components are required for the transmission antenna now this is the source this is transmission line and this is your transition region or you can say this is the antenna and this part is free space uh, free space right from where we are transmitting means radiation is generated from this transmitting antenna and your uh, your signal is uh, sending from transmitter to receiver in form of radiation so in the free space that is uh, you you have an antenna here and this is the free space where your electromagnetic waves are gen uh, are generated and it is received at the receiving antenna now this is the receiver this is guided wave now this is the taper transition this is the plane wave so receiving antenna is remote from the transmitting antenna so that the spherical wave radiated by the transmitting antenna arises at essentially plane wave at the receiving antenna so here you have to use the coordinates of spherical because when you are sending your waves these waves it should it's uh, when you measure 
when you will measure uh, the uh, means when you are sending your signal from transmission to receiver so these are these are received at the uh, receiver side now here a uh, guiding device or transmission line may take the form of a coaxial line it is used to transport electromagnetic energy from the transmit transmitting source to the antenna or from the antenna to the receiver now you can find out the equivalent equation for this antenna setup now this is the source where there is an impedance that is represented by zg and this is the voltage source it is represented by vg now this is the source this is the transmission line or you can say standing wave and this is the antenna now here at the antenna side you can see here this is rl resistance load resistance r r and this is the impedance that is represented at xa now here you have to find out za for this equivalent circuit so by the help of thevenin theorem you can apply here thevenin theorem at the transmitting mode this is your transmitter part so you can apply here trans uh, thevenin theorem and you will get the impedance resistance za is equal to rl plus rr plus j xa so this is the equivalent uh, equivalent equation now radiation mechanism of this antenna is that when you are sending your signal from transmitter to receiver then it works as transducer and here at the receiver side it works as sensor now uh, at an uh, an antenna is a transducer converting electrical energy to the electromagnetic radiations so at the receiver side your electromagnetic waves changes converts from em waves to electric current now the basic principle of antenna is radiation is produced uh, by accelerated or decelerated charge now a radio antenna may also be defined as structure associated with the region of transition between the guided wave and a space wave or free space wave or vice versa now basic equation of radiation is this differentiation of i l is equal to q v now here this is the time changing current time changing current is represented by i dot l is the length of the current element in its units are meter and changing time changing current current its units are ampere per second now here q is representing as charge its unit is coulomb now this is the time change of velocity which equals the acceleration of the charge and its units are meter per second square and here l uh, length of the charge the current element here now time changing current i radiates and accelerated charge and a stationary electric charge does not radiate and neither does an electric field electric charge moving at the uniform velocity along a straight wire and a charge moving at the uniform velocity along a curved or bent wire is accelerated and radiates now these are the fundamental parameters of antenna first is radiation pattern radiation intensity beam area directivity and resolution gain beam width effective aperture area antenna temperature and antenna impedance so these are the parameters of antenna and i will cover one by one Uh, these parameters of antenna first is your radiation pattern now here this is the radiation pattern and radiation pattern is defined as a graphical representation of radiation in uh, in a direct uh, as a function of space coordinates or you can say as a function of directional coordinates and these three these uh, radiation pattern is representing it is in three dimensional a uh, form so it is representing as a function of spherical coordinates and spherical coordinates you all know what are the spherical coordinates r theta phi so here we are considering the function of spherical coordinates theta and phi so this pattern is in 3d field pattern and it is proportional to the field intensity in the direction of theta and phi now this is the radiation pattern now here this is the major law why it is major law 
इट मीन्स हेर इज अ मैक्सिम रेडिएशन रेडिएशन पैट रेडिएशन इन दिस लोब सो यू कैन से दिस इज अ मेजर लोब एंड अदर लोब्स आर माइनर लोब्स so except this major lobe other lobes are minor lobes let it be this is your intended lobe if it is intended lobe so if it is intended lobe so uh, let it be this is intended lobe so these are your side lobes except this intended lobe other lobes are side lobes and uh, null radiation here you can see here is no radiation in this direction so you can say these are null radiations it means no radiation is here so you can say null radiation so what are the parameters of radiation pattern major low minor low except this major low major low is known as where there is a maximum radiation so this is major lobe except this major lobe other lobes are minor lobes let it be this is intended lobe so if it is intended lobe or you can say if it, let us consider it is a main lobe so other lobes are side lobes okay let it be this is your side lobe so 180 degree to the side lobe is known as back lobe okay so these are the parameters of this radiation pattern now uh, for an antenna the field pattern field pattern represents a plot of the magnitude of electric or magnetic field as a function of angular space angular space means when you are uh, when you are getting when you are uh, transmitting your signal from transmitter to receiver so you can receive your radiation in form of angular space or you cannot say your uh, radiation is in form of uh, cartesian or spherical uh, cartesian or cylindrical your radiation is in form of angular space and angular space you can measure in form of theta and phi now second is power pattern power pattern a plot of the square of the magnitude of electric and magnetic field as a function of angular space now the third one is power pattern represents the magnitude here your power pattern in, is in li, linear scale and here your power pattern is in db so magnitude of the electric and magnetic field in decibel as a function of angular space now here you are finding normalized or relative electric relative field pattern so normalized field pattern is equal to e theta in bracket these are the coordinates of e theta that is theta comma phi now here how we can find out normalized field pattern that is equal to e theta e theta in bracket theta comma phi upon e theta theta comma phi max so upon max so and it is known as dimensionless now here pattern may be expressed in terms of power per unit area and your power per unit area means you can say s in bracket theta comma phi now here this is the normalized field pattern now if you want to write down normalized power pattern so it is in form of pn theta comma phi n it is n en in bracket theta comma phi n is equal to e theta theta comma phi e theta theta comma phi max now here you are finding normalized power pattern so it is represented as pn in bracket theta comma phi is equal to s in bracket theta comma phi and uh, upon x s theta comma phi max and it is also dimensionless so here you can one more thing you can say del as you all know maxwell equation del cross e is equal to b dot del cross h is equal to j plus d dot it means what if you know the electric field you can find out the magnetic field if you know the magnetic field you can find out the electric field so both are uh, one eight one ninety degree to each other this is electric field this is magnetic field here this is electric field this is magnetic field okay 
सो थैंक्स फॉर दिस वीडियो लेक्चर नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर आई विल डिस्कस इन दी नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर थैंक यू